All right, in this video, we are going to talk about some new features in 3ds Max that deal with bringing in a Revit file into your 3ds Max scene. Now, previously, this was accomplished through an FBX that you exported out from Revit and then brought into Max using the File Link Manager. And that option still exists. However, there is another way of doing this that is a little bit easier. And you can come into uh, Import. Instead of having to link uh, to an FBX, you can now link directly to a Revit file. So I'm going to choose a Revit file and I'm going to open this up. And this process is going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause this video and then we will come back uh, when it's finished. All right, once the Revit model has been opened in Max, it will pop up a window that will ask you which view you would like to use. And I have just the default 3D view as well as the view that I set up. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to choose to combine by Revit category in this case. I'm going to attach the file and we'll wait for just a moment. Alright, so here is our Revit model loaded into 3ds Max and this is linking directly to a Revit file. This is not the FBX but instead is the actual Revit uh, model that is loaded directly into 3ds Max. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how this process has become a bit more simplified and that's pretty much all there is to it. Alright, so there's another new feature found in 3ds Max that can be found under the Presets tab here in the Manage Links window. And this feature will allow you to control the amount of detail in any curved surface from Revit. So to get to this feature, I'm going to choose to make a new preset, and we're going to call this Level of Detail. And we're going to call this one Level of Detail High. And we're going to choose to do uh, Revit and FBX. Hit OK. So I want to edit this preset that we just made. So I'm going to click on Modify. And that's going to open up a window where you're going to notice the slider that is labeled Curved Object Detail. And what that refers to is the amount of detail that will be found in any curved surface that comes from Revit. So at a lower value, you're going to have much less detail. And at a higher value, you're going to have uh, much higher detail. So for this case, I'm going to turn off these, and we'll leave that at do not combine. So I'm going to leave, uh, set this to uh, 15, and I'm going to save. So that's my high preset. I'm going to copy this, and we're going to call this low. And once again, we're going to modify and set our slider all the way down to the lowest value. And I'm going to save. So now I have two presets, uh, one for high and one for low. And I'm going to show you what those mean and how they work in a uh, real scene. All right, so here we have a Revit model linked into this scene uh, using the presets that we uh, just made. The one here on the left is using the low level of detail preset, and the one here on the right is using the high level of detail preset. So as you can see, the one on the right is using a full amount of geometry that came from Revit whereas the one on the left is using a much more condensed amount of geometry. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how the level of detail presets work and how they control the amount of detail that is going to appear on a curved surface uh, from geometry that's imported in from Revit.